Today's question is, how does a mag meter work? Well then, the principle of operation of an electromagnetic flow meter, or more commonly referred to as a mag meter, is based upon Faraday's law, which states that the voltage induced across any conductor as it moves at right angles through a magnetic field is proportional to the velocity of that conductor. Got it? No? So, flash back to your fourth grade science class, and the project was to make an electromagnet. Hmm. This was simply accomplished by wrapping a big nail with some copper wire and hooking it up to a battery. And bingo, your nail became a magnet, and you used it to pick up some paper clips. Mm hmm Well then, that's pretty similar on how you make a magnet for a magmeter. So in this case, we take a section of pipe, wrap a coil of wire around it, fill it full of water, insert the ends of the wires, which are called electrodes, so they just make contact with the liquid. Use a transmitter to apply power and condition the information. Now this magnet creates a magnetic curtain across the pipe. And when the conductive liquid, say water, hits this curtain at a right angle, it creates a small amount of current, which is monitored by the two electrodes. The faster the liquid flows through that magnetic curtain, the more current is generated. Since the current is proportional to the velocity of the liquid flow, we just factor in the pipe size to calculate volumetric flow, for example, GPM, and we are now monitoring flow. Well, some typical applications include chilled water, glycol, hot water, makeup water, and of course, the most popular potable domestic water. It's also big with fracking liquids, irrigation, raw sewage, waste activated sludge, raw activated sludge, mining, pulp and paper, boiler feed water, boiler blowdown water, condenser water, cooling tower water, 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 chemicals, and the list goes on and on and on. The only thing you need to avoid is non-conductive liquids like hydrocarbons or petrochemical-based liquids. So, if it's water-based, or if it has at least five micromoles of conductivity or more, then you're good to go. Well then, that's how a magmeter works. I hope you find this information of interest. If so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.